Hello folks, and the following I want to show you the latest addition to the Storm32 gimbal controller project, namely that it got Wi-Fi support uh, using this ESP8266 modules. Now everything I'm going to tell you works equally well with this older version 1 gimbal controller boards. Uh, it's a bit more difficult though because uh, this ESP module must be connected to this UART port and in particular it must be also powered up by some power supply and this ESP models were quite, pow uh, quite power hungry so you cannot supply them with this uh, storm boards because the power supply here is just way too weak so in addition you have to add some BC, some 3.3 volt BC to power this ESP modules so hardware-wise it's a bit more complicated and also the setup is a bit more involved. However, I have written up the steps in detail on the wiki, so this should not be really a problem. I will show you the following using this latest uh, version 3 uh, Storm board. So now this, this board in particular has a switching regulator uh, on, on it, so this which sub, uh, provides plenty of power to drive all that. It has also some other nice features. I mean, it's, it's, it's much smaller. It has also, for example, a CAN transceiver on board, so you, it, it, it provides uh, CAN uh, support. But that's not uh, the relevant features now. What is more important is, I mean, you also have here the UART port, but in addition, you have now this new port, which I call UART2, and this is made to be used with this ESP module. Now, the NAKED module does not fit into that, so what you need in addition is a small adapter PCB and on this adapter PCB you also have this power supply for this ESP module. It's very well filtered so that this really provides a stable power to this ESP module and this is quite relevant uh, for proper operation of it. However, with this, is, with this adapter module everything fits, in, fits together quite snugly and you can build such a module. Now I'm using this uh, on my stick gimbal and so here you can see and I've built this properly so it's quite quite uh, packed together and so and what I, I what I want to show you in the next step is first uh, how to set all this up and for that you need to connect the controller port to this to the USB port so it really works only with a USB port when you call the GUI and in the GUI you have a particular tool which helps you or guides you through, what, uh, through the steps and the first thing is you have to choose the COM port of this USB uh, connection that's trivial when you have to tell on which port the ESP model is connected and on this version 3 board this is by default is the Stuart 2 port and then the next two steps are the important steps you uh, have to upload some dedicated firmware to this ESP module and for that you just click this button here this opens a DOS box which does, uh, does all what needs to be done and now you see that the flashing has started so you just wait until this finishes it takes some time so be patient Okay, we are close to the end here. Okay, now this is done and you just do what it said, namely you press any key to close it again. And this was this step. And as a second step, next step, uh, one has to upload some dedicated configuration files uh, to this ESP module. And this configuration files, yeah, carry some configurations but also uh, carry the style files and so on and so forth and this is done as easily as before you just hit this button this opens the DOS box uh, and you just wait and let happen what's, what's happening here so now all these files are uploaded and again you just do what's set here you press any key and this 
window closes. Now this was a configuration of this ESP module. And then there's one important step before you use it. You really, you have to disconnect everything. So you have to power down both the storm board and this ESP module to synchronize everything. So now in order to show you the operation, I just power it up again. And then you go now to the GUI and you look for the available COM ports, you just find the standard COM ports, which you would find uh, usually. But now what you can do is you can connect to, to this ESP module. You should find in your VLAN list, you should find a new access point, which is called Storm32 ESP. You connect to this access point. And once this is connected, in the GUI, you find a new entry, a new port, which should be called ESP. So you select this port, and now everything should work as before. So you can use the data display. You can read and write, of course. You can use your, uh, can do the calibration. So and everything works as before, as you're used to it, uh, except now that everything is going now through wireless LAN. You can, in a, in a, in, as an alternative to using the GUI, you also can use a web browser. So I open your web browser. You have to go to, uh, to the proper URL. So this is this, this for one. And Yes, and now you get uh, also a configuration uh, application, which I've called the Storm32 web app. And this you can use as before. It's a bit slimmer than the GUI. There are not that many features yet, but all important features. So you can read and write. Uh, so you have access to all parameters uh, as in the GUI. And just to demonstrate to you that this is really working, I'm here, for example, we have now the setting 1.5 milliseconds, we set it maybe to 6, we read, uh, sorry, we want to write, so we write this into this board, and to check that this is really into it, we can connect here via the USB port to the Storm Gimbal controller, and we look up this parameter, and it, it's indeed 6 milliseconds, so if we change it here, and write it, and when we do a read here, we get this new value. Okay, so this is really working. And the good thing about the Storm web app, or that's the idea of it, is that it's platform independent. So you can use it also on your mobile or whatever device you want to use, because it's just all used with a browser. It's not only working with the Firefox, it's also working with Google Chrome. For example, So everything here works exactly the same thing, so the same way. Uh, it's unfortunately not working on Internet Explorer. I don't know why, that's, that's how it is at the moment. Now, as last, I want to show you that this indeed is, is through wireless. So I disconnect my stick uh, gimbal. I wait a tiny bit for this, uh, for this access point to disappear so that, that there's no confusion, or that, that it's, it's just working, takes up, so now it's gone. So now I power this up. So, and this is now no connection, no wires to everywhere. We, uh, now I have to put it into my, my knees, so. Now we do the same thing, we, act, we connect to this access point, we go to the GUI, we select the new ESP port, and now we can connect, and we can run the data display, and maybe I zoom up a bit like this, and now you see this running, and you can see that it's data display is showing what I'm doing with my stick and it's all over wireless, there's no, no connection, uh, no wires everywhere. Huh? And this, the nice thing is really that this works over quite some distance, so this ESP8266 model is really a nice device uh, uh, working properly. 
Okay, so this was what I wanted to show you. Thanks for your attention.